Well, that is an interesting example also of an artist who would be attracted to the imagery of the racetrack because he had a deep taste for popular imagery. And he had a painting style that lent itself nice, nicely to decorating or enhancing an automobile. So the Bende dots on his car are, you know, sort of enlargements of what he would have done on a picture. So it's a nice concentricity of his painting style with the car. Calder seems to be a kind of perfect uh, icebreaker for this activity. And as you know, he had previously decorated jets for Branagh Fairways. And he was an artist whose natural inclination was expansive. <clears throat> and he wasn't interested in precious art objects necessarily. In fact, much of his career was about incorporating less than precious objects into his vision. So it looks like the car was a perfect opportunity for him to really explore the concept of the mobile, which is what he called certain of his works. So in English, that would be a strange pun for the mobility of a car. And from that very high beginning of the project, other artists such as Frank Stella or Roy Lichtenstein or Warhol moved the idea forward in a very natural way and probably in a way that reminded us that pop art in particular after futurism was the aesthetic idea that most easily and most elegantly would incorporate use on an automobile.